guys, Rotten Reviews here at the Half Shell Oyster House. Uh, we have eaten here before, but haven't done a review. Uh, as you can see, the hours on their doors. There. And... There's Brandy and Grim, and I don't know who the hell that is. Oh, and thank you. Yes, let's first Scott that guy. <laughs> so we are all here at the uh, Ferris Oyster House, and no. the first thing the half shell. Oh, we are. <laughs> where the hell are we at? <laughs> we are at Half Shell Oyster House, um, and right off the bat, <laughs> right off the bat, they have interactive placemats. <laughs> We're getting some colors brought to us. Now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We've got crayons. That's what this is for. Um, yeah. Oh, or... I like this. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna order food soon after we get through playing. <laughs> well, first game goes to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Are we getting all arts and craftsy on their tablecloth? I hope they frame this and put it on the wall. They will not. Wait, that's not tic tac toe. How can you eat? You have to do another set of lines. There has to be four. <laughs> No, you don't. I'm so mad. I'm sick of losing. I want to play this anymore. Snow, you don't. Snow, you don't. Snow, you don't. This is my turn on. Snow, you don't. Snow, you don't. Okay, keep going. Okay, I'll win. Bonds. Did you see a one-eyed beetle? A beat Scott. Did you want to get okay, so we've got the, um, this is the fried green tomatoes and crab cakes appetizer that we got. Oh, it looks tasty. That does look good. Do you want to show the drinks? Um, okay, so the drinks that we got was, this is, what is this? It's a blueberry pomegranate sangria. Blueberry pomegranate sangria. What's that one? This one is a... Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. This is the mixed berry martini. And that's the mixed berry martini. Have y'all tried them yet? And this is the first thing we're gonna try, but I think like we should try the drinks first, and then. Tried mine. It's a bloody mary. Is it like good? It. Is it nice and spicy? Yes. Very descriptive terms. Let's see. What do you got? We don't have spicier, but it's tasty. It's good. This is good shit. I love this. It's good as shit. Good as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a descriptive term. It's not really like. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Like, 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 Turn the camera off. Turn the camera off. Okay, so, uh, alright, so we're gonna each get one of these and we'll try these. Hold on, we'll be right back with you. I'm going to try the drinks. I'm gonna try this one. It's a pretty good sangria. It's got that bitter wine taste to it, but you can taste the different, like, fruits that are mixed in as well. So it's not too bitter. I can almost drink that. I'm not a big fan of wine, but it does have that sour mesh wine taste to it. Um, this is, what would you say this was? The Mixed Berry Infusion Martini. Okay, that's really good. I personally think it's a little heavy handed on the sour though. Um, it's, I would like it to be a little bit sweeter and a little bit lighter, but it has a, a really good taste to it though. I don't know, like this. That is phenomenal. It's got a good spice to it. I don't like the, um, I can't remember what the name of that stuff is, but I, can, I know that taste because we used to serve the bar, but, but the, the flavor is really good. It's not too heavy on the liquor. And you don't really taste the lemon and stuff in it because it's more of the tomato juice, but still, it's a good uh, earthy flavor for a, a Bloody Mary. It's good stuff. So what did you think about your small bite of a fried green tomato? It's 
not too salty. And that's the thing that a lot of people do with um, fried green tomato. It sure also, is. A uh, very common thing with fried green tomato is it just be straight cornmeal, and this actually has a crust, like a little bit of a thicker crust, and that's really nice. I what do you think about it? Um, it's really good, and I had a I'm trying to balance it on silverware here. Uh, I had a bite of the fried green tomato with the crab cake on top of it, and they suit each other really well. I thought that was a great flavor. What about it, Grim? Uh, that is good together. I. I don't really eat fried green tomatoes very often, but that, I don't really know how to describe it. It's fucking good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the things that I want to point out to you guys is that it's got this uh, sort of a cream sauce, which I imagine is like kind of a, a noodle type of sauce. And it's got chives on top and tomatoes. I'm not a big fan of crab cakes, so I just got the fried green tomatoes, and I love fried green tomatoes. So it's going to be interesting to see what this tastes like with the seafood-ish cream on top. It's really good. I think the green is a little bit sweeter again for my taste against the fried green tomato. It goes really well with the crab cake. Right there. But I'd imagine it goes good with the crab cakes. The crab cakes are going to be a little bit more bitter and mm -hmm. have that, that heaviness to them. But the thing I like about this is you don't get a lot of greasy fried taste from it. There's a lot of bad fried green tomatoes will just be soft and grease. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a really, really good fried green tomato. So, mad thumbs up for that one. It's, it's crisp and... There is no sogginess to it at all. You don't taste the grease in any way. It's like crisp and clean. It's really good. Okay, guys, from the top, this is Brandy's. What did you order, Brandy? Seafood pasta. So this is the seafood pasta. Mmm, looks delicious. And then, Graham, what did you order? I got the voodoo chicken sandwich. The voodoo chicken sandwich. And I ate two fries already. Right there. And what did you get, Scott? Uh, this is uh, the half shell uh, entree size salad. Mm. And then this is um, <coughs> this is a little boats and fries, boats and fries, boats and fries. And I got the something another steak thing, something. <laughs> steak, bacon, steak, burger. Bacon steak. That's that's it. It's but, bacon steak. Yeah, they all look delicious. So, what do you want to start? You want to start? Brandy's gonna dig in. Brandy can. I mean, I am gonna dig in. Okay, so Brandy's gonna start on hers. My seafood pasta. So it's got um, shrimp in it and crab meat and I don't remember what else it said. It's got this parmesan and the crab meat lumped together on top. Um, that is very tasty. I am enjoying this immensely. It's blue cheese. Okay. It's got a little spice. So we'll go on to Grim Brulee with the voodoo chicken. That chicken is cooked like perfectly. That's good. How about the sauce on it? It's good. The sauce is perfect. So it's enjoy. It's spicy too. There's a, there's a kick of spice. I like that. Yeah. Scott has a salad. <laughs> you guys know what salads taste like, right? Hey guys. Um, I'm eating the salad today. And it has a vegetables. And there's some dressing to it, but I got it without the goat cheese, which I bet really makes this a fantastic salad. <coughs> Did you say goat? Yeah, usually it's goat cheese. <laughs> okay, not that kind of goat. That's a lamb. We talked about this. Mm. Happy with the dressing. Happy with the salad. Okay, so now, Randy will take the <laughs> <coughs> take the phone. I got the uh, something burger steak thing. It's a burger. It's, it's a bacon burger. It is. And they were out of cheddar, so he got it with American cheese. Honestly, it's a little bit overdone. But it's still good. It's a little bit burnt. Mmm. <laughs> it's still good. Mm. These are the crispiest fries I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Perfect balance of salt and pepper. Oh yeah, the fries are banging. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat now. No more. I want to add something. The cheese that's on it kind of makes it a little too big. 
So we are going to dig in now. We will be back with you guys in the video chat. All right. So Rotten Reviews, we're leaving now the Half Shell Oyster House. Uh, we had all together five different drinks. We had four different, six different drinks. No, it was five. You were right. We had five different drinks. We had we had enough drinks where we can't count the drinks. Four, ab uh, four entrees and one appetizer, and all together it was around 160. Uh, that's with a tip. That's with a tip. Um, the food was really, really good. I think the burger was a little bit burnt. That's the only thing like I had a problem with. Everything else was really well done. My salad wasn't burnt at all. <laughs> but wow. we, I loved my pasta, and I will love it again. My chicken was not dry. And it was and yeah, the chicken was really good, well cooked. <laughs> so. Everything was awesome. We enjoyed the hell out of it. So, if you guys get a chance, come out to Backwards Half Shell Oyster House and uh, stay rotten. Stay rotten. Come here and eat food.